Republicans are being suckered into changing. Keep telling yourself that, Rush. Joining me now is Jonathan Capard and Angela Rye. Thank you both for coming on the show tonight. Thank hey, you, Rev. Jonathan, now let me start with you. How does the Republican Party move forward if the far right really wants to prevent them from doing so? Um, it's really unclear. You know, as I wrote today, the first 12 pages of the uh, Growth and Opportunity Projects report you know, are a really brutal uh, assessment of where the party has been, where it is right now, and where it needs to go if it's not going to continue to lose presidential elections to the Democratic Party. But um, I, they say a lot of good things. They also, I want to point out, say that they are not a policy committee. This is all sort of tone, tenor, and, and cosmetics. But, you know, diagnosing the problem is the first step to recovery. It's proactively doing something to heal yourself that is going to be, that, that is the issue. And if folks are squawking at the diagnosis right now, particularly the base of the party is squawking, I'm not quite sure and I don't have a whole lot of faith that the Republican Party is going to get well or mend itself yeah anytime soon, certainly not, with, not in time for 2016. Now, uh, Angela, when the Tea Party group Freedom Works, it slammed the RNC report saying the changes uh, it suggests really would hurt Tea Party candidates. The group's director says, quote, they're trying to close the process so that upstart candidates, the one that they tell us can never win, can't even compete, is a little bit like putting the genie back in the bottle. It just can't happen. I mean, Angela, is this really what's at play here? Is the establishment trying to break the Tea Party? Perhaps the establishment is. I, I think even when you look at how they released this report, the timing of this report, Rev, they just finished CPAC. We spent all week looking at the sessions, what they were called, the hatred being spewed at these different events, the way in which people of color were treated there, you know, Donald Trump talking about immigration and it needing to be expanded for Europeans so much people of color and then lo and behold the Republican Party decides it wants to rebrand itself the Monday after CPAC where all this hatred is being spewed and they want to reach out to people of color that they spent the entire last week berating and beating down um, demonstrating that their prejudices are still right there intact and that nothing has really changed and so even the messaging is wrong so perhaps the establishment and the Tea Party and some of the more conservatives among them are not at all yeah. on the same page now, 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 Jonathan, in an interview with Politico, the RNC chair said the party needs to get with American culture. Interesting. Take a listen. I think that our party's divorced itself of the American culture. Um, that me included would make fun of the president for going on the view and you've heard me say these things and going, you know, talking hoops for half an hour on ESPN and that's where a lot of America's at. And I think we've got to get with it. A lot of the uh, Republican Tea Party types didn't like that, but who's right in this, Jonathan? Well, Reince Priebus is right. And we've, we've known this all along. Um, when the president was being criticized for doing all these things, we knew what he was doing. He was leapfrogging us in the media and going right to the American people where they are, watching you know, Sports Center and watching The View and watching Leno and Letterman and all of those things that you know, everyday people do who aren't you know, trapped here in the, Washington, in the Washington bubble. Anyone who thinks that um, a Republican presidential candidate or the Republican Party can continue to win presidential or try to win a presidential elections without trying to be in sync with the, American, with the American people that they spend so much time saying that they speak for, then they're never going to succeed. Yeah. Now, you know, Angela, just in case after watching Ryan uh, Priebus, just before you think, Maybe they're all getting back to some kind of sane position. Let me show you Donald Trump weighed in today and what he had to say. It says that Donald Trump tweeted, Sarah Palin did a great job. Much of what she said was plain old common sense. So they haven't recovered totally over there yet, Angela. <laughs>
No, they haven't, and he's wrong. It was plain and old. You know, Rev, at the end of the day, these folks have got to acknowledge that even if Rince Priebus goes all Jerry Maguire on us, now he loves black people and everybody else that's of color, we don't believe them. I know that nowadays they're really starting to understand Jay-Z and the lyrics, so I'll give them a lyric. We don't believe you. You need more people. <laughs> Uh, let me I'm go back saying. to you. Uh, uh, let me go back to you, Jonathan. But don't quote Beyonce. Uh, <laughs> it seems like the only thing the GOP can unite on, though, Jonathan, is their hatred for the president. One of the authors of the RNC autopsy said today, "Quote: We've got a socialist in office right now. How's that working for us?" So. They're still united in this venom against the president. Uh, mm -hmm. Just look at Governor Scott Walker. He was talking about the president. It's the same old makers and takers rhetoric, even from the establishment part of the Republicans. Look at this. What I've seen thus far suggests he does not uh, care about truly balancing the budget. Uh, what I think uh, we've seen increasingly is uh, more of a, a, a political agenda and one in which he measures success by how many people are ultimately dependent on the government. Same old kind of, of disparaging the president. That seems to be the only thing that unites them, Jonathan. Uh, yeah, and, and it just shows how far the, the party has to go and the authors of that uh, uh, of the GOP autopsy have to go it, it, to move their away from being the scary mean you know stuffy old people party or stuffy people party to one that you know accurately ref reflects the American people that they say they want to lead it, where the party is right now what Scott Walker said what Henry Barber said what Rush Limbaugh and, and, and Donald Trump are saying over these last few days will do nothing to help the Republican Party in in its quest and in its goals Jonathan K. Bart and Angela Rye thanks for coming on the show tonight Thank thanks you, Ahead, 10 years after the Bush-Cheney war in Iraq, it's time to fight for those who fought for this country. And the right wing won't stop blabbering about this photo and President Obama. That's next. We the people. The grandparents. The small business owners. The 